Um, always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you say, and what you feel each and every day will be manifested through the word. Nuggetwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 158. We get NASDAQ up 146. S&P's up 33. Gold, gold contract up a buck 80, trading at 17.73 an ounce. We get silver down 24 cents, $21.64 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Up 26 cents, seventy dollars ninety nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten year note down six ticks, trading one thirty fourteen. The thirty year down seventeen ticks at one sixty one twenty two. And King Dollar, King Dollar is uh, down ninety six ticks, trading ninety six four seventy eight. The euro is at one twelve. The yen is at one fourteen, and the British pound is at one thirty two to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you got? Well, bottom line, you can, you can absolutely see that the market is not worried about what the Fed's going to do. Uh, bottom line is that we take a look at the uh, futures first. The futures are 62 points off the low, folks, okay? Uh, that is a move. Uh, you know, and this, is, uh, this gets interesting, man. So yesterday, we, went, we came down from 46.76 to 45.96. Today, you made it to 4602, and right now, we are 10 points away from the high of yesterday. This is bottom line. My take, we're going after these highs again. The high we're talking about here is 4735. If we go take a look at the SPY, that was the S&P futures, the E-minis we're looking at. The SPY, what you're looking at here is that you have rejected lower price today at 460. We're at 467. The closing high is, uh, let's see. Let's, yeah, the closing high looks like it's... Uh, 467. Look at this, 467.57. Well, we're going after the high. And today, this would be really weird. Well, no, we've closed over that. But bottom line, the, the top tick right now is 473.53. I expect we're going to go after it. That, that's the bottom line. That's how, that's how it's set up. NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs out here? Three Qs basically set up the exact same way. You uh, went down yesterday. You had an expansion of volume. That being said, it was still coming into volume that had 105 million, and you only did 75. This morning, we went to the bottom of that, we rejected it. Bottom line, you're higher right now. We got down to 383. The Qs are 10 points higher than that right now at 392, and that's telling me that we're going after those highs also, which is the 408. Gold, gold contract, bottom line, wants higher price. When you see this, this is pretty cool, man. Um, so when you, when you take a look at this, uh, bottom line is that you have rejected lower price today at 1753 or at 1774. And you can see you got a beautiful hammer, man. And you're going to have this is this is what's really cool about it. You're going to have a hammer and you're going to have a rejection of lower price. You went under the swing and it's going to be lighter volume, which is really great because that's really hard to do, actually. So the last swing low, folks, was 1762. So we got down to 1753. That low that we're talking about at 1762 had volume of 173,000 contracts. Well, the bottom line, we're going to do like 150. So that's a nice setup. Now, watch this, though. If you're watching Tiger TV, this is really cool. I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to put this on a weekly for the year. And what you're going to see here is this is, this is phenomenal, actually. I mean, I just, I just when, when Jay Powell was... Just ready to talk. I was looking at this. So look what you have, man. If, if you are a council charting person, candlestick charting person, you're going to be all over this, man. You, you have a hammer that was established on the 2nd of April. Okay? That's when gold went to 1686. Then it rejected the lower price. Then it goes all the way up to uh, 1922. Then what, what do we do? We, we come down. We get crushed and one week we went from 1783 to 1680 and if you're in the market then that was another fed deal bottom line it rejected it you closed at the high and that's exactly what's going to happen now so what does it give us well which, and now i go back to the daily what you're going to see here 
is that this, you know, bottom line is that you're in an uptrend, man. We have three lower highs and two higher highs. We're going topside, man. This is this is gonna we're gonna have some fun here. Um, we'll see how it shakes out. My take is that we're gonna have some fun because we know that we. Uh, this is a index, yeah. This is a forward march, particularly for a few months, and you can see the dollar. And that it was all about the dollar, man. The dollar went up. You gotta love markets, man. It blows it blows my mind on a continual basis that they can test these numbers, man. So. It missed the high. The dollar missed the high today by 40 ticks. Uh, let's see. The high is 96,435. Um, we hit 96. Oh, it's even. No, it's, we went above it and rejected it. It's even better. Okay. So we went to 96,906, rejected it. Bottom line, you're at 96,473. What does that say? Bottom line, we're going back downtown. Now, when you go back downtown on the dollar, I suspect we're going to go to the breakout area. You know, we'll see whether they can get below that. But the breakout area is game. The breakout area is 94,561. Um, so pretty cool uh, how this whole thing is shaking out. Uh, the time of the year we're on, we only got, it's December 15th, folks. The bottom line is you have this week of trade and you get next week of trade. And, and you know, the bottom line is that um, you'll have some tax selling, not a lot. I mean, this market still wants to run and test that, that higher level. Uh, and you know, I haven't had time to go through the, you know, because Powell's speaking right now. Uh, but the bottom line is that you can, you can actually look at the note and bond market and you can see that nothing has actually changed. Okay, if we turn around and we put the, um, the note market up, the 10-year note right now is, is down nine ticks. Okay, uh, this still wants higher price. <laughs> yeah, higher price. How about that? And we have the 10-year right now yielding 1.47. 877 Give us a call, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now are up uh, 201. NASDAQ's up 177. S&Ps are up 40. Hey, why not go up 60, man? You know? Come, come right back, folks. <laughs>